he wrecked me. He finally admitted it just two years ago. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Finally admitted it on my 200th win party. I called him out on it, and he admitted he finally he wrecked me. The first and last race, you and Kurt competed against one another in go-karts. Uh, yeah, there was only one, that? so yeah. the first was the last. Right. Yeah. We would go to a, an empty parking lot to drive the cart against each other. Well, then Dad gives the, the one-to-go signal, like, hey, one more lap. And the race is on now. But I knew. I knew before I got that flag all the way waved, they weren't coming back. And I'm like right here, just on the inside of him, and he chops me to get to the bottom. And I climb over his tire and kind of clip the carburetor of my engine. And he passed me on the outside because my car quit. And I make it back to the, I make it back to the, to the finish line, so I won. And he's like, yeah, I beat you. And I'm looking at him going, man, it was a dirty move. The good news is we got one running cart. The bad news is we started the day with two running cards. In your, your dad said your motivation was always catch up, keep up, and then eventually pass whatever Kurt had done. Yeah, I always wanted to outdo and be better than what he was doing. Um, you know, if he was racing cars at, at 15, 16, and I started at 13, well, he won, I think he won a championship his, his second year of racing. I won my championship my first year of racing at a younger age. There, there was one other instance where we're at the bull ring in Las Vegas and Kurt and I, <clears throat> I'm just getting started. This is my first year, it's 1998. Well, my dad and I, we knew we were gonna be racing for national points that year. So we come to a Friday night race. It was told to Kurt like, hey, you need to let your brother win. Like he has to win tonight, right? And I finished, literally I finished three inches behind him. And so I was livid. Like, I saw red, nothing but red. So we go home that night, and we work on the cars. We get everything prepared, because there's a Saturday night race as well. And I tell myself in my head, I'm like, I'm going to go out there tonight. I'm going to set a new track record. Hold my beer. Watch this, boys, right? So lo and behold, I qualify on the pole, new track record. And when they dropped the green flag for the feature, I ran. And I went as fast, I went right up to the front, got the lead, and took off. Like, never checked up. And so I was pumped up, excited, like, hell yeah, I just beat Kurt. Like, I'm somebody now, right? And my dad is the maddest he's ever been in his entire life. Why? And he rips my brother and my ass to the ground. Because, so this is Tom. Those were his cars, those were his engines, and Kurt and I just ran the death out of him, like we overran his equipment in that race. And so he was like, if you two ever do that again, we're done, we're not doing this anymore. You guys go out there, you race each other with respect, because we didn't have a whole lot of money. We bought engines for our cars from the junkyard from motorcycles that laid on their side and were crashed. You know, we didn't go to the engine guy and buy a $30,000 motor. Take me to that, uh, I believe it was a Christmas dinner, you guys aren't talking, and give a little context as to what led up to it. Well, let's talk about the issue was the All-Star Race 2007 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The All-Star Race has no points. It's all about a million bucks, a million dollars for the winner. There's all that slang and talk and trash talk about how you would wreck your own mom to win the million bucks comes to the final segment, we're both running in the top five, and there is just enough room for me to fit my car underneath Kurt to make it three wide down the front stretch. Little wobble, little wobble, and he's out of control. And um, he says there wasn't enough room there, which fact of the matter was I got there, so there was enough room there. He is beyond the low groove, and I'm like, really? Wait a minute. And when I pinned him down a little bit, of course he lost control of his car, and then I'm trying to get out of the way, and he ends up clipping me. Now you can say he came down, I could, somebody else could say I came up, whatever, we touched, and it spun me out and it crashed both of us. And it was that whole moment of, wait a minute, who's at fault? And so that, that difference of opinion lasted for a long time, and it was because it was all for a million bucks. I gave Harvick the million and I was pissed. You were? Well, gave Har I, I mean, really? That's how you wanted to settle this? Make sure somebody else got the million bucks? So it was after that I was pissed. And so then we just, we never talked 
and the whole rest of the year. I mean, that, that had to be brutal at the time, right? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't care. You didn't? Hell no. I didn't care. During that period, like when both of you aren't talking, what would you say the lowest point was? Um, no real low point. It was uh, me still trying to hold my ground as the older brother, and you still have more to learn. And he, of course, like any little brother, has little brother syndrome. I'm going to do everything better, faster, and quicker than you. So grandma knows all this. So like I go visit grandma. He goes and visits grandma. Like grandma never gets to see the either of us together. And so she was upset about it. It, it was a, a bury the hatchet moment. And she's like, boys, I, I need my boys. I don't need this animosity. I don't need this stress level at the dinner table. You boys need to put that behind you. And it was, OK, yes, grandma. So. I think we still had Christmas together, but I don't, I don't, I still don't think we said but hi to each other. Honestly, I think it was like the following year, end of year was when it about came to where we would be on talking terms. So it was a while. He wrecked me. He finally admitted it just two years ago. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Finally admitted it on my 200th win party. I called him out on it and he admitted he finally, he wrecked me. I'm like, all I wanted you to do is admit that you wrecked me. How would you describe what it's like competing against one another? Uh, again, like early on, it was difficult. Uh, and then there was a transition period of younger brother is becoming better than the older brother. And for me, I had to digest that. To come back from his injury in, in 2015 and win the championship, uh, that, that was an incredible task of, of personal willpower. That was the transition point where I knew he was headed to superstar status in our sport. Kurt asked me to bring up uh, Kentucky 2019. Of course he did. Um, <laughs> well, he, he said he believes you gave him space because uh, he's your brother. The little bit of racing room that he gave me on the outside, I don't think he would have given it to anybody else. I think there was, there was a spiritual brother connection, and that enabled me to win that race. Like, I could have drove up the racetrack and pulled in front of him and been clear, but my spotter never called me clear. I think when I gave him the wink of thanks for, for the room up on the high side, it then goes back through his mind, man, I should have closed the door. I should have taken it away. You know, I, I could have won that one, but um, I gave him room. But if it was somebody else, one of my arch enemies or something like that, I, I would have pulled up in front of him no matter if I was clear or not. No, you would. Yeah. yeah. How would you best explain the rivalry between the two of them? Rick Hendrick put it the best. It was like, you don't want anybody beating up on your brother, but if somebody's going to beat him, it's got to be you. What about both of your son's success in the sport makes you most proud? I don't know. It's still you got to pinch yourself because this wasn't supposed to be able to beat. In our day and time, in the late 90s and the early O's, you weren't supposed to be able to come from Las Vegas with little or no money and wind up being cup champions.